Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna have a look over a new sensor that is ITG3200. Now, we have done a lot of sensors in our previous video, so I'm gonna introduce to a new digital sensor that is ITG3200. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website controlleverything.com and now here search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got here. We got that ITG3200 is a 16-bit 3-axis MEMS gyro angular rate sensor. So it's a gyrometer in short term and what we can say about the features as you can see on my screen. Now you can also purchase this sensor from this very site and I will be moving forward with a lot of options regarding this sensor. Well, I will be interfacing the sensor ITG3200 with an Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino code. So the best chance is to go to the resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can also have the code from this website as a zip file like this. You can download it from here. You can also have the privilege to download the code from github repository that is control everything community. Now why don't we have a look over the hardware we require for this particular video and let's make some connections for that. So now what we require is some hardware. So the sensor you are able to see on my screen is ITG3200. Now what do we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now the question arises how to connect this sensor with the Arduino Nano and here comes the picture of I2C shield. This is available on the website controleverything.com and the reason why we use this is to make connections with the sensor Arduino Nano and a lot other I2C devices a lot easier. So gently place over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now the binding factor is this connecting cable. This makes the connection among the sensor and the I2C shield and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this has to be followed for the I2C shield. Now it will look like this. Last we have to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes in the picture a mini USB cable. Now gently put it over the power jack and light it up. So we are done with the connections part. Now what we require is our code so that we can explain the entire code and let's see how it works with our sensor. Now I'm gonna show you how the code of the Arduino for the sensor ITG3200 look like. So for that first of all we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Now here we go and here we have to search for the sensor ITG3200 and this is it now this is the Arduino code we are looking forward to explore before that let's have a look over the instructions first we have to download and install the Arduino software on the machine and this is the link www.arduino.cc this is the link which will help us to install the software step by steps as you can see we can download the Arduino software install it in Windows, Mac or Linux operating system and all the relevant information commands are being provided here. So please have a do carefully look over this. Now get back to the code for which we are doing this. Now this is Arduino code with .ino extension. Now first of all we have included wire.h library and to find the address of the sensor that is 0x68. This library will help us all the functionalities which we will require later on this code. First of all in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and with the serial communication and baud rate equal to 9600. Now in the writing part we have selected the power management register having address 0x3e and power enabled and the command for that is 0x01. In the second set we have selected set range register that is 0x16 as you can see and we have selected here 2000 DPS full scale range and command for that is 0x18. This is the writing part and we have a delay for that so that it can settle up for the commands to check. Now in the void loop function we have selection of the data register that is 0x1d and we have requested and read 6 bytes of gyroscopic data from this very register. So the values are being continuously monitored and the values are being converted. And here comes the conversion part for the gyroscope which is exactly using 
the details and the formulas used in the data sheet for the I2G 3200. So after we are done with the calculation and all the stuff, we are going to print the data, the output on the monitor, serial monitor and we have the values of x-axis, y-axis, z-axis in the rotational direction and all the raw values are being displayed. So this is a very simple code as you can look yourself and if you have any doubts you can contact me on this very side. So as we are done with the code, what do we require is to see the working of this code along with the sensor. So let's have a look over it. Now we have to check the practicality of this code. Uh, so first of all copy this entire code of the Arduino and now open up the Arduino terminal as we discussed. Now here we have paste the code and save it and name it IT save it now verify the code and compile it now we have to check and upload the code the code is being uploaded and it might take some while now it's done uploading now we can have our output data on the serial monitor so for that open up the serial monitor and here comes the data for x y and z axis in rotation as you can see the output is displayed now when I try to rotate it will display the results for the x y and z axis of the rotation and I'm continuously rotating it it will show down the results on the output or in the form of serial monitor so you can have a good look of that so this is how the code works now what do we require is to see the benefits the features and the applications of this sensor and the reason why we use this so till now we have seen the explanation of the code working and connections part of this particular sensor. So the ITG3200 is the world's first single chip digital output 3-axis MEMS gyro IC optimized for gaming, 3D mice and 3D remote control applications. The part features enhanced bias and sensitivity temperature stability reducing the need for user calibrations. Low frequency noise is lower than previous generation device, simplifying application development and making for more responsive remote controls. Due to these wide features, it's applicable in a lot of applications like motion-enabled game controllers, motion-based portable gaming, 3D mice and 3D remote controls, no-touch UI, health and sports monitoring and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and you can get the code from the resource tab and from there you can download it. You can also get the code from GitHub repository that is control everything community. So as we are done with all the requirements for this particular sensor ITG 3200, I just would like to make it clear that in case if you are in a kind of thought that you are not able to understand any part of this video, any section. You can put your queries on the controleverything.com and put your comments on the community page of this particular website. Now, for blogs and articles which are relevant to this video, you can blog or post me on instructables.com. And also, if you have interested or want more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and have yourself a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.